Okay, we're going to make a start now. Um, the first thing we're going to create is the tutorial waypoint. This is uh, basically an invisible entity that we can place on the map to designate our waypoint. We can also move it around. Uh, we can have it output the X and Y coordinates of its location in world space. We can also name it so that it has a name which we can change dynamically. And also we can turn it on and off with a toggle so we can hide it or show it as we need to. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is create the ent file, which is going to call our main Lua script. So open up Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, I suggest you go and grab it off of Google. It's free and it's a very robust and easy to use uh, Notepad editor and very good for dealing with Lua because it has a multitude of languages that you can assign it for syntax highlighting, etc. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start by opening a bracket and typing entity. And we're going to put name equals, and we're going to open up quotation. I'm going to put map tutorial waypoint. And we're going to close that. Then we're going to show it where to keep the main part of the script. So script equals open scripts entities map tutorial map tutorial waypoint lure. And we're going to finally close this entity with oops not a question mark with a forward slash and a close bracket now the the lua script can be kept anywhere after scripts entities it's your choice how many folder depths you keep it or where you keep it but but obviously keep it in script entities somewhere okay now we're going to go to file and we're going to go to save and we're going to go to the free sdk and we're going to go to game and we're going to go to entities and we're going to change this to all types and we're going to call it map tutorial waypoint dot ent an int file and we'll save it okay let's just close notepad for a second and go and look in the sdk to make sure it's there game entities map tutorial waypoint okay the next thing we need to do now is to actually create our entity uh the lua script itself so we're going to open up notepad plus plus again and we're going to do file new and we're going to change the language to Lua so we get the correct syntax highlighting. So Lua. Okay, the first thing you need to do is define the actual entity itself. So map tutorial waypoint equals open bracket. This is curly brackets for anybody to make sure. And I'm going to insert this a little bit and we're going to create some properties for our entity. So properties equals open curly bracket. And the first property we're going to create is a file model property, which allows us to assign an actual physical model to the entity if we want to. It doesn't have to, but it's always nice to have a choice in case you don't want to just prop the invisible entity over something in the map already. So file model model equals, and we're going to keep that now name for a moment. And the next one is a string input for the name of the waypoint. So to denote that, we're going to put an S, so the engine knows it's a string, waypoint, name equals and we're going to make that blank as well and we're going to close this section with a kind of a curly bracket close and comma uh, the next thing we're going to do is create an icon for sandbox free so we can see it inside the editor if we don't assign a model to it so we're going to do editor oops edit editor equals open curly brackets icon equals now you can find these icons i'll show you exactly where to find them uh, let's just put that down for a minute go into the SDK and it's in editor and then object icons and you can see there's a whole load of different ones you can even create your own if you'd like to uh, for today we're gonna choose a W because it's a waypoint so that's somewhat relevant I guess so we're gonna go back to our notepad plus plus and we're gonna put icon equals W dot BMP for bitmap. And we're going to close that and that. And we're going to close this section. Okay, so now we've got our property set up and we've got an editor icon now. So now it's time to write some functions. So let me just neat this up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go down to a new line. We're going to create our first function, which is the initialization function, which is on init. So function map tutorial waypoint on init and then two normal brackets 
and on our initialization we want to load the model and activate our entity so we're going to do self load object zero and then common and self properties file model and close that now make sure you have exactly the same property name here and here so file small f capital m small f capital m okay and the next one we're going to need is to activate it so self activate one okay so that's the first function written uh, the second function is going to be on reset so whenever we reload the script this is what's going to happen we're going to basically activate the entity again I'm not 110% sure if that's actually required or not, but it works. So <laughs> if anybody knows otherwise, please feel free to tell me. Like, I'm self-taught with Lure, so I, it's quite likely I make mistakes or don't put things quite 100% properly. So I'm always willing to learn how to do it properly. So if, if you do see I'm doing anything wrong, please feel free to comment. Uh, so this next function is on Beyond Reset, as I said. So function map tutorial waypoint on reset and we're going to do self activate one again and end now this next one is on property change so basically whenever we change a property in the roll up we're going to reset it we're going to call the reset function which we've just written so function map tutorial waypoint on property change and we're going to call our reset function oh self on reset and end so every time we change the property we're calling the on reset function okay this next two are actually to do with the inputs and outputs or specifically the two inputs for our flow graph compatibility we want to be able to dynamically change the name of the waypoint and we also want to be able to turn it on and off as well and it'd be nice to be able to do that via flow graph so we don't have to mess around with any scripts for that so we're gonna we're gonna add two uh events now one is for the name and one is for to toggle it on and off uh these will be these functions will be called later on in the in the script down in the in the flow event section so the first one is going to be function map tutorial waypoint event message and then sender and message and we're going to do self properties s as again from a from up here if you remember from the string self s for string waypoint name waypoint name equals message so that's going to pass the input from the flow graph to the property s waypoint name uh, the second one is going to be for the activity for turning it on and off so function map tutorial again waypoint event active and then sender again and message again and this is going to be a boolean or boolean or however you like to say it i think it's boolean i never get it right <laughs> so this is going to be again self waypoint active equals oops equals msg and close that so those are the main entry functions done and this next one is going to be the actual on update function which we're going to use uh to grab the locational position of the waypoint itself uh, on update runs every frame uh so we can dynamically move the thing or attach it to a way uh, attach it to a vehicle or scoot it across the map or do whatever we like with it and it'll always be updated in real time so function map tutorial tutorial waypoint i should have picked a shorter name <laughs> on update and we're going to do the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define a local variable called pos so local pos and we're going to feed the position of the waypoint itself into that variable so self oops sorry get position or get pos and close that so now we've got the xyz coordinate of of the waypoint itself 
Now we only need bx and y, so we're going to do self, we're going to define a new global variable, self x, and we're going to get the x location from the, the, the local position, and we're going to do the same thing with y, so self y equals pos y. So now self x and self y are the same as the x and y coordinates of the local variable. Okay, the next thing we need to do is activate the outputs. Uh, this is again for this flow graph. So self oops, activate output and then pos x is going to be self x like we just defined here so this output called pos x is going to be feeding is going to be feed fed by self x and we're going to do the same thing with y so self activate out oops out put pos y equals self y okay so now we've got those and that's done so that's the main function written so basically all that's left now is to deal with the flow graph events side of it uh, we've got two inputs and two outputs the two inputs are the waypoint name and to turn it on and off will be active and the two outputs are the position x and the position y so the first one is going to be a waypoint name which is a string so what we're going to do is map tutorial waypoint flow events equals and we're going to open that up and we're going to scoot down a little bit and we're going to do inputs equals open curly brackets and we're going to say waypoint name oh, let's, let's do it in capitals waypoint name equals now we're going to call the function that we had up here which is uh, map tutorial waypoint event messenger or event message sorry so we're going to do map tutorial tutorial waypoint event underscore message comma and that's a string so we're going to be sending a string into that input and the other one is going to be a boolean or boolean and it's activate equals and this one's the other one map tutorial waypoint event active okay so that's open curly brackets map tutorial waypoint event underscore active and then that's a bool so b o o l and close the brackets okay so those are our two inputs done okay now we're going to go on to the output so outputs equals open curly brackets now our two outputs are position x and position y so pos x which is up here and it's going to be a float and the other one is pos y which you can see up here posy equals float and we're going to close curly brackets and we're going to close the entity oops with a curly bracket okay so that's for the entity written so we're going to go file save as and we're going to go up and we're going to go game scripts entities map tutorial map tutorial waypoint and it's a lure file just make sure the save as type is lure and save it okay now we can close that and we'll go and check in the sdk to make sure that it's there so game scripts entities map tutorial map tutorial waypoint dot lure Okay, so I'm going to pause it there for a minute and we're going to go in game and we'll see how this works or make sure it does work and correct any mistakes we might have made and I'll see you in a minute.